My name is Elizabeth Ikwasotaman. I uh, have a background in theater, performance, dance, and I've recently, well not recently, moved into exploring other mediums including film, VR, um, and also moved a lot into cultural producing over the past few years. Um, I'm born and raised in Accra, Ghana, and we're actually here at my grandmother's property where I've created a studio called Tara Alta. We um, have tried to create space for artists to explore um, research and development processes, to have residencies, and to just present their work. And it's been going since 2017. So for edition two of the Aya edition, I have created a series, Untitled 1 to 6, that builds on previous work from my exhibition Gold Coast Gothic, where um, I created a set of ink, blots, and prints that explore women's bodies, specifically the bones in the hip area and the associated organs and fluids. Um, and that series kind of grew out of um, explorations both of, of Gothic ideas in a very sort of medieval European sense and how they relate to perceptions of women and women's bodies and colonialism and um, perception really around ourselves and what goes on inside of ourselves both on a biological and on a spiritual level. Um, so those are these type of organic shapes and dots and blots and the layers that they present. Um, I think there are really incredible women artists in Ghana and in, across the continent, really. But unfortunately, we don't seem to have um, enough of an effort. And a lot of people need to understand that for women, there's all sorts of factors that go into why they might not be able to amplify themselves in the way that um, I think male artists sometimes have the space to do. There's patriarchy, there's certain expectations in terms of home, there's domestic obligations that don't exist for men, and, and that's just a fact. Um, but there's also perception uh, where people think that you're less than or less able to, and I think we need to learn how to work together as women, um, to be supportive of each other as women, but also there needs to be very conscious efforts on behalf of institutions to create opportunities that lift up women artists and that amplify their voices and so what this project is doing is very important and I hope that other institutions do make that conscious effort and understand that it's not necessarily even sometimes on a cash level or on a professional level but even just the support of having people be able to create space for women artists to be able to have a, a, a sustainable practice I think that's that would be something that would really lift up the scene.